welcome and in this video I want to kind of go over when I did work and how these last couple days been working out for me so as you guys can see uh, the 14th and the 15th were the two days that I worked in December that was towards the end and if you guys can see that I made like only one delivery in 1969 then on the 14th, I did Spark with 133 bucks. <clears throat> then I did uh, two more days on the 22nd of December, which I did DoorDash. Uh, that, that afternoon, I did one Spark in the morning, and then Uber afternoon. <clears throat> and then the 23rd, uh, where I did morning DoorDash and Uber and that was it <clears throat> So then you know since then I did nothing until uh, January 31st, which is the last day of the month and I did $140 I started off with uh, Spark in the morning did a uh, $93 worth that's for deliveries and then in the evening, I started off at 5 and went till 8 with DoorDash. I did turn on uh, Uber a couple times, but Uber were sending two, three, four dollar offers, and I didn't like it. As you guys can also see, I got only one sixteen fifty on the Spark. All the rest of them were, you know, above 18 bucks. And I'm kind of focusing on taking eighteen fifty or higher. That gives a $10 tip. A minimum ten dollar tip on an order. So then, uh, January first, uh, February first, I took two orders. That's the day that I got in an accident uh, with that eight twenty two dollar order, and I was hurrying on, you know, picking up that second order nine twenty one when that accident happened. So that was my January first yesterday. I started off at nine, at seven, eight o'clock. wasn't worth taking it. Uh, then we had a nine, ten, eleven, twelve, and one. And then after one, uh, about four, I was trying to get something. Nothing was coming in that was worth it. Uh, but I did got an offer at one time yesterday where it was like fifty miles for fifty miles, twelve stops. And it was going to Venice store. I wasn't interested in that one. And then, uh, because, you know, that would have turned into like $65, or 65 miles. And probably three, if not four hour delivery. Uh, another time I got an offer for my local store. Um, 30 miles for 25 bucks or something. Don't remember how many stops. Didn't take that. And rest of you know they were just you know regular uh, scheduled deliveries that were just not worth it. I seen as low as seven something yesterday, so so that's where I'm at right now. Um, today uh, it is a ten twenty eight. You guys can see I'm about to start going to, to for the pickup. Started off at seven twenty. I had a story and I'm gonna share with you guys and let me turn on the camera for this one uh, I had a delivery <clears throat> where it was an alcohol it was my second stop so I dropped out my first one came to the second one knocked cold text message total silent uh, so I started a, about eight minutes later which either way I would have because you know with the return I would have never been able to land the second, uh, you know, that uh, 8 o'clock uh, drop. So that's why I kind of, you know, gave 8 minute wait. Because, you know, that's when, you know, actually my alarm went off that it's time for a drop. And so I started to return halfway to the store. Customer calls back and says, hey, can you re-deliver? Uh, and I'm like, hey, but I do need, I did knock, nobody answered, and I do need a driver you know driver driver's license for age verification for the app and she's like i did had eight alcohol deliveries nobody 
uh, ever ask for an age verification. They would just leave the order at the door. Like it says, leave it at the door. Of course, you guys do know that all alcohol deliveries also require signature on Spark. So for me, kind of was a you know surprise, and I think just pulling the leg because unless you put in random stuff in the app, otherwise you cannot really proceed with an alcohol delivery to complete the delivery. So is people doing that? So I decided, okay, sure, I'll re-deliver. You know, I do not know which customer gave you a ten dollar tip, and I don't want to lose uh, uh, losing the ten dollar tip. So I said, sure, I'll re-deliver. And here's the story. I did re-deliver. Uh, you know, on my way back, I tried to uh, talk with Spark. Uh, they said not to do it again. If I start return, return it to the store. But here's the. But you know, since they're already back at the customer's door, take a picture of the driver's license. And they'll send me an email where I can respond. Hanged up, no email received. Had to call back. And finally got that taken care of where actually they sent me to a level 2 Spark uh, support. And then that level 2 agent had to actually speak with the developers in order to complete my delivery and mark it as delivered. Uh, so pretty much policy a Walmart, a Spark, looks like change. So right now, we no longer can uh, proceed with the delivery, especially with alcohol, because they're having issues on uh, getting that delivery mark as delivered. So where before, they actually encouraged us to re-deliver if we are willing to. So now if you start a return, you have to complete that return and take it back. So, you know, just something uh, for you guys to know about so yeah i lost uh, the 820 drop 920 as you guys can see 2350 and i just landed a 10 uh, 21 uh, 1020 drop for 25 bucks so um, let's start the trip so yeah uh looks like changes us uh, it has ch a few changes i noticed on the app as well um <clears throat> And that change is we are able to see now uh, in our screen when we click on item uh, account, we're able to see items now, pictures. Of course, as long as that, uh, as long as you know, we have a decent internet. So that's kind of nice. Okay. So, yeah. Um, Kind of for me was like wow okay great um i noticed they went back to previous uh, structure they pretty much uh, rebuild the app where they had to change i don't know why why would they actually you know do changes to the app and then go back to how it was before but pretty much all the system i've been using in the summer when i was in idaho it's back to the same system um Canceling orders, not counting against you if you do it in uh, quickly um, by selecting others or before other, others was not an option and a bunch of other things. Um, you know, they did add that pictures where before pictures didn't work uh, when you clicked on the list of items. But other than that, um, looks like things are... Things are, you know, back to how it was. So those of you guys that I have shared the system, yeah, we're back to the system. And it does, didn't really change as big time as the system that I shared on the last couple of videos with you guys. So um, if you guys following most of the stuff that I shared, you guys should be in a good shape. Um, that's about it. So, um, if you guys have some questions um, on Spark, um, you know, otherwise watch the videos. I probably can eventually get back doing DoorDash as well. <clears throat> and Uber, but uh, I just kind of discovered in this area here, in order for me to work doing DoorDash, I need to become a top dasher. Um, 
I know some people the last couple months, I think, you know, since about uh, late summer, early fall, there was a lot of information on uh, regardless of DoorDash and Top Dasher, not Top Dasher, uh, taking all the orders and, you know, a bunch of that stuff. But if you guys go back and walk and, you know, select my DoorDash playlist and you go back uh, over a year back, I have clearly said that if you are a top dasher, you will be prioritized. Yes, they had created that 50% or above, they'll give you the larger orders. But again, if you're not a top dasher, you're not going to be prioritized for an order. Now, holding yourself above 50 as a, and also as a top dasher, you'll be prioritized for an order. And on top of that, you'll be prioritized for a bigger order. But uh, if you're not a top dasher and you don't hold your uh, above 50% status, you're not going to be prioritized for neither of those. Now, if you're holding above 50 but below, but not a top dasher, you will be prioritized for large, uh, bigger orders, but only when top dasher not available or refused an order. So remember, guys, if you guys want to be busy with DoorDash, you turn down an app, Anytime you want, as long as it's, uh, you know, somewhat busy and there's, uh, uh, you know, enough of you, but not too many of the top dashers, you will be prioritized over over the non-top dasher. Second, I'm pretty sure they still kept it like it used to be in the past. They will give you orders up to a mile and, and a half away from a store even if you're not the closest driver to that store. Whereas a non-top dasher, you have to be fairly close to the store in order to get a delivery from that store. So there is benefits being top dasher, and I'm pretty sure those top dasher benefits have still stayed. Um, and I will try to see if, if I can uh, re-qualify myself to a top dasher this month. So next month we can prove that i did took a break as i shared in the previous video you guys can watch and i do need to kind of you know share what happened there because it was a little crazy things that i had that we as a family had to go through and a lot of it had is, is related to the war that's happening in my home country so, um, yeah, I'll be sharing that, I guess. So you guys can actually, you know, know things that are happening. The war is not just uh, back there. The war is be between Russians and Ukraine. All around the world are somewhat, right now, expanded. And it's just what it is. So yeah, um, definitely uh, keep on watching. I will try to do videos as much as I can, uh, as men mentally I'm able to. Uh, yeah, I'm working on you know my uh, roofing project job, which or um, I don't know contract, which haven't had much success. And that's another thing is I need to go not just pass out flyers but also need to go and knock on the doors and that's the part that i have not done is knocking i don't know having problem getting over over that feeling of fear of knocking i guess um as well as you know my travel business which um few things that i kind of revealed that i'm probably going to be sharing but I also opened up a channel, a new channel for the travel business, which is in two languages, in Russian, uh, Russian slash Ukrainian, as well as English. Not everything's in it, only what is being trained in English and interpreted into Russian. So, it, you know, it's kind of, you know, 50-50. Um, but uh, definitely uh, working on that as well. And we'll be doing more of that as uh, we're able to um, have more flexibility where we live. So, um, 
just kind of give you guys little updates on this and that. So if you guys want and interested in my travel business uh, channel, let me know and I'll drop a link for that. Uh, we'll go from there. So guys, be blessed. Go out, make the money, make the difference in your family's life. And one other thing is a lot of the stress, uh, income stress has been reduced. Uh, you guys probably remember a year and a half ago I shared about where a guy took uh, over $130,000 worth of mine. Um, he agreed to return 20000 of it. Uh, by doing a thousand a month, so I guess 20 months, uh, and he has you know, da, did uh, payment in end of December and end of uh, January, or the, yes, uh, so that actually helps a lot because you know, a, th a turn a thousand less makes a big difference as well. Uh, when you have to make at least three thousand, that's minimum, so um little relief there as well so guys um, some good things are happening in my life and I hope it, things are happening good things are happening in your guys life as well right so um, we'll be back with uh, another video so guys be blessed and go out and make that money and be successful take care